All right, all right, all right. I'm excited. It's beautiful. I was able to hitch a ride up to the portal. It took me two rides, funny enough. Uh, somebody picked me up in town and uh, they were testing out their van because they were about to go on a road trip and there were some locals and it was overheating. So they had to stop halfway up and they asked if I wanted to go back down with them or uh, um, stay where they were, they were turning around. I said, I'll just catch a ride here. Right away, as soon as I got out, I caught a ride. And uh, yeah, so got a ride to the portal. They kind of took me past the Mason Lake trailhead, but that's okay. I didn't care to make them stop or anything. It's all downhill, so. Um, so I'm just walking down to the trailhead and going to do an overnight at Mason Lake. And then, then tomorrow morning, more than likely, I'll uh, go do Lone Pine Peak. That's the goal. But it's just so beautiful here. I just love it. And I get to try out a new pack because my other one was digging into me pretty bad. So and I lost some weight, so I'm all bony or something. I don't know. But anyways. God, I just can't get over. Love the Sierras. So, anyways, see you at the trailhead. This is just so beautiful. <laughs> just enjoying a little snack. I'll we'll get going. It's really nice in the shade, nice and cool. Nice light breeze, beautiful day. Taking it in. I just really appreciate the the trail maintenance. You know, it's a lot, not an easy task. It's just so nice that they do all that stone stacking. So, shout out to anyone who does trail maintenance. You're definitely a hero in my book. This is Grass Lake. I'm gonna go hike up to Mason Lake and then maybe I'll just come back here and set up camp. Looks like I gotta go up that scree pile tomorrow. I think that's where I go. I'm supposed to cross over through here somewhere. 
That's crazy. That's fucking steep. Wow. Alright, let's go to Mason Lake. It's already 3 o'clock. Just casually walking up here. Let's go check out the other lakes. It's a lot more comfortable. I thought I'd throw a few pa my few patches on there that I have. So definitely need to earn some more. Need to get this thing covered. <laughs> Anyways, it should be less than half a mile to uh, Mason Lake, where I'll be setting up camp tonight. I think I'll just set up there. It's gonna be such a crazy hike in the morning. It's not gonna be easy. I gotta go up all that crap and work my way. That's gonna be tough. Gotta get a good night's rest. Wow. It's just incredible. And then you can see, you can see the path I gotta go up. This is quite the hike. It's so beautiful. It sounds like I'll probably have it to myself tonight. That should be amazing. This is incredible. Cold real early. Uh, it's so pretty here. And I have it all to myself. I'm at uh, 11,474 feet. And then I think I'll be just below 13,000 tomorrow. Um, let me get to the top. It's a beautiful morning, not a cloud in the sky. The sun's behind me there. Enjoying some coffee. That's probably some of the best sleep I ever had. And I got up in the middle of the night to just uh, to pee. <laughs> I had to pee really bad. But uh, you could just see all the stars. You could even see like the Milky Way, like um, it was just incredible. And then uh, I could hear the waves like crashing up against the rock, like it was just a little breezy, not bad. And it didn't get that cold surprisingly, it was actually really nice, really beautiful. But I already got my tent broken down and pretty much ready to go. It's like not even 7 a.m. This is 
See you on the trail. I saw this bottle here yesterday. I told myself on the way back out I'd pick it up, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just hoping whoever left it here it was a complete accident and not intentional. But you know, like I always say, leave it better than you found it. This will be now, this is where I'll be apparently heading along the western shore, Grass Lake, and then I'll cross the creek, and then I'll be heading up all that crap. So here we go. Now I'm making my way over. Got a little confusing over there. Didn't notice any established path, that's for sure. Started seeing footsteps down that way. So that's a good sign. Now I'm following it up. Just gonna take my time, slow and steady. Kinda glad I stayed overnight at Mason Lake. And uh, it's higher than here. And uh, get a little more acclimated. I had no problem when I did Langley or even the other times when I done uh, Whitney. But yeah, see there's some footsteps. Good sign. Um, but I noticed when I was setting up camp last night, I was getting a little lightheaded, so. I feel pretty good today though. All right, let's get it. Another good sign. A Karen, yay. Yeah, I think at this point, it's kind of just pick your own route up. Pretty steep. Finally found a suitable spot to take a break on this climb up. Is it right that way? Shows up. There's a Mason Lake over that way. Yeah, I can see it right there. Is it right there? Right there. There we go. But yeah, I'm gonna throw a shirt back on. I was in the shade down there. Um, Beautiful day, but now I'm in the sun, so I'm gonna to wanna to get covered up so I'm not getting sunburnt. But I'm gonna just eat a quick snack, hydrate, and then get going. This is challenging. This is gonna be fun coming down. Let me slow going. But yeah, I'll probably uh unless I see something cool, I'll probably just film up at the when I reach the crest and yeah, see you up there. I'm getting closer. Finally up out of that shoot of just rocks and sand and stuff. So. Uh, this looks like kind of a trail, so I'm gonna just follow it. It's just incredible though. I can see Mason Lake over there. It's just like feels like you're on a different planet. 
when you're enjoying these mountains. My GPS is saying I'm at 12.933, so I don't know what the official number really is, like what they call it, but I'm at the highest point. That's where I started this morning down there, Mason Lake. I think there was a, there's Langley over there. But there's Whitney over there. There's no missing that. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Well, I'm gonna sign the log and Eat a snack, chill out for a little bit, and make my way down. <laughs> uh, so awesome. I gotta latch my foot in on top of this big rock. But it's the highest point up over here. That's funny. Last person up here was on the 4th, today's the 7th, and it says Bear stole our sandwiches and Glenna's approach shoes at Whitney Portal Parking. Still made it up. Super fun climb. Well, I'm glad they still made it. I had to throw the woodsy. Time for a snack. And then head down. I wonder if there's any stickers on the other side. Yeah. Sun stick, block sticker. I'll take it down. Oh, we should be leaving the garbage up here. Can go next to the bottle here. There. Alright. That's crazy seeing Langley. You can see. Oh, which way did I come up? Yeah, I think just right through there. Pretty sure all through there, yeah. And then up to the top here. I'm gonna ride the ridge. I think on top of that. But you can see like how crazy it was. Look at this like that's how steep it was over there. Crazy.